Family, friends, and strangers came together tonight to honor the life of the five-year-old girl found in a pond at Roger Williams Park today. She had gone missing from her family's home early this morning. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez was at the emotional vigil and spoke to the family about the impact of the community support. Alex? Mike Shannon, more than a dozen people gathered tonight at Roger Williams Park to remember five-year-old Naomi Thomas, whom family refer to as their beautiful and very special child. Balloons, candles, and a stuffed bear now sit at the pond where officers found five-year-old Naomi early this morning. Loved ones and community members heartbroken by the news. I was beside myself. Ariana Venditoli didn't know Naomi or her family, but felt like she needed to do something to honor her. And no parent, no aunt, nobody should bury a child. So she helped organize a vigil to allow community members who felt the same way come out. There's nothing we can say or do to make this better. Just support is all we can do. Among the crowd, Naomi's aunt and cousin who say they felt the warmth of everyone's love tonight, despite the cold. We really know that the school people stay on earth. The family has lost several family members recently, so they're still in shock and disbelief that they lost someone so young. There we go, Fio, a typical Fio, you know, and that's the hard part that she's not going to be around. But they know they'll get through it since they have each other and the community's support. Without them knowing us, showing up and giving us the support when we need it the most, we just bless God for them. And we pray that Jesus will bless them and be with them just as they have been with us today. Vendatoli says Naomi has now become a part of her life. She will hold forever. Who is Naomi to you now? <sighs> She's a little angel. The family says they also want answers as they have a lot of questions about Naomi and how she was able to leave her home in the middle of the night and walk more than a mile to Roger Williams Park. The Providence Police Chief tells us nothing is being ruled as suspicious at this time, but is still under active investigation. Live in studio, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.